Good morning, you guys. It is 5 a.m. Ben and I got up about 20 minutes ago. And yeah, we're just in the car and we're gonna drive out to a trestle and we're gonna set off some flares on that trestle. We're gonna take some photos with the 85 mil. Yeah, I think it should be good. Early bird gets the worm, so that's why we're up early. We're hoping there'll be nobody there to kind of see us set these flares off because I'm not even sure if it's allowed. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. We've got quite a drive ahead of us. Yeah, I know, it's really loud. Anyways, okay guys, so we've made it to the park now and we're just heading up to where the trestle is. It's about six o'clock in the morning. We're still pretty tired, but uh, yeah, I think these photos will be worth it. So we've got about a 20 minute hike ahead of us. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep grinding. We'll get there, we'll get there. We've been tired. There it is. So we walked about 15 minutes. We just got a bit more to go. Okay, you guys. So Ben and I have actually made it to the trestle now. This is what we've got to work with. That's Ben way over there somewhere. But uh, yeah, we've got these smoke flares and we've got five of them. So I'm thinking we're going to use three of them for photos and then two of them for B roll just so we get all the shots we want. Two of them will be on the 85 for photos and then one of them will be on the 28, so we'll get a wider shot. Yeah, I'm just thinking Ben will stand maybe 10, 20 meters in on the trestle and I could stand maybe 10 meters back, I don't know. We'll just figure it out, we'll uh, see how it goes and uh, yeah, let's get right in onto it. A good one here. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. Oh, I like that one. We've got the 28 to 70 on now, so we're gonna get some wider shots. We just did some 85, and they look great. I just want to see what the the 28 will look like, so we'll try that out. There's so many mosquitoes everywhere. That's the one thing I hate about this place is all the damn mosquitoes. Okay guys, so I just walked out onto the middle of the trestle with Ben back there. Yeah, I just sat on the edge so I could kind of show you guys how high up we actually are. So uh, yeah, check this out, oh my god. All I can think about is just this part breaking and we falling, but it won't, I think. I think it's pretty strong. I've done this before. So Ben and I were just finishing up here. We got a ton of really good photos, some good video too. I'm really excited to hop onto the computer and check these out in Lightroom, so Let's just cut everything and let's let's get home and hit up the computer. And we're back. Okay, you guys, so Ben and I are back home now and I've got all my photos loaded up into Lightroom and the plan is I'm gonna throw a few edits on the photos and then I'll export them to my phone and then we'll sit down, I'll show you guys a few before and afters and what I did. So let's get right into this edit. Waking up at 5 a.m. really sucks, but I think what we got here really made it worth it. So, so let's check out the first photo. So this is the first photo I edited. It's just a basic photo with the 85 mil of Ben holding the flare towards the camera. I actually got him to, to wave the flare in the back of it and then step forward so there would be a background of smoke behind him. Yeah, so that's what I got him to do and that's what we got the photo of. 
So the first edit I did is I turned that smoke to orange. I added a, a graduated filter on the bottom there to kind of darken up the tracks. I brought up the exposure on Ben's body as well, just to kind of make him pop a little bit. And then what I did is I, I used a brush tool and I painted over the smoke with blue. I thought it would just create a really cool orange and teal effect. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good, so I'm really happy with that. But then finally, I just brought up the exposure one more time on Ben with a radial filter, and I think that photo is finished. So on to the next one. So here's the next photo, and I used the 28 mil, so it's quite wide. He's got the flare in front of him again. The first edit I did is I actually turned that smoke to orange, and then I used a graduated filter and I brought down the exposure of the sky as well as the tracks, just to kind of give it that moody look. I I gave it some temperature as well just to kind of spice it up a little bit you know it looks good and then what I did is I actually changed the smoke to purple I just thought I'd get creative and change it up a little bit so I think this actually turned out really well I'm happy with it and so the last photo I edited is a photo of Ben with the 85 mil and he's holding that smoke up above his head I like the way he like kind of pulled the smoke up and around his head I think that looks really cool the first edit I did is I actually brought down the exposure of the tracks again using a graduated filter I did the same thing for the background as well. Then I actually ch changed that red smoke to orange just to give it that orange and teal look again. Moving on, I brought up the exposure of Ben's body using a, a radial filter. That just kind of makes him pop a little more and it looks overall a lot better. So yeah, those are all the photos I got today and I'm super glad that Ben and I woke up at 5 a.m. to go get the shot. Otherwise, it may not have worked out because I know it's a really busy area where lots of people go. Anyway, super stoked how those turned out. I posted my favorite one on my Instagram, so go follow me at Harry Shaw with an X for the first A. I will see you guys in the next one.